Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today we'll be learning how to do animated lower thirds text in HitFilm 4 Express. So I've already got a video on how to create text in HitFilm 4 Express and that's pretty much the first step. I'm going to turn this video right here, I'm going to drop it into my editing timeline like so. And I'm just going to go and maybe shorten it a bit and I'm going to press make composite shot because you can only create text in a composite shot. Press OK. Now that we're in a composite shot, I'm actually going to flip my workspace around. So I'm going to go to view, workspace, and I'm going to change it to compositing so that I have a bigger viewer. If you want on Windows, then there's a grid like button next to your undo and redo buttons. So to add your text, all you have to do is press your new layer button and select text. I'm going to set mine to be uh, let's say the size of the screen, so 1920 by 1080. And I'm just going to hit OK. I'm going to go now into this text tool down here, and I'm going to type what I want. So let's call this guy Mr. Shiny. OK, so now that we've done that, go into your text tab over here, highlight your text like so, and you can change all of these properties um, as you wish. So that's pretty good for me. I've got my text Mr. Shiny, Impact 75 white. So we're going to now animate this. And there are of course a bunch of ways that you can animate this. So normally for lower thirds, we have to position it in the well the lower third uh, of the screen. So I'm just going to do that right here. I'm going to move it down um, just right here. I'm going to zoom out a bit. Um, scroll down around here. I'm just going to move it around here. In fact, I'm going to go back into the text tool I'm now going to drag this so that it's only around the actual text that I've created. So I'm just going to create a nice little uh, rainbow sort of design. So I'm going to create a new layer, I'm going to create a plain layer, I'm going to make it 700, in fact I'm going to make it maybe 600 by 100. Um, and I'm going to make the colour of this plain, um, let's just leave it, actually, let's make it something of a red. So I'm going to go into my RGB sliders and I'm going to make it just pure red and I'm going to hit OK. So now we've got this uh, this nice little uh, red box, and I'm just going to drag it down over in the lower third like so. I'm going to drag it below my text, and I'm going to position my text uh, so that it's directly on top of this box. Okay, so now that I've got this here, um, I'm going to start animating it. So I'm going to zoom out a bit, let's go to 25%. And what I can do is I can open up all of these uh, properties, and if you, ha if you don't know how to keyframe uh, in HitFilm 4 Express, then I've got a video on that, uh, which you can click on right here. But I'm going to set a keyframe for the position of the text um, at the very beginning of the video to be, sorry, to be just out of frame, like so. And then I'm going to play the video back. So, and then I'm going to move it all the way right until it's in the frame. So now let's have a look at how that plays back. Pretty cool. So I'm going to set these keyframes to actually be uh, smooth keyframes. So let's see how this looks now. Alright, so I've set them both to be smooth in keyframes and I'm actually going to drag this keyframe a bit further here so that it comes in a bit quicker. Alright guys, so HitFilm did just crash on me, uh, which is a bit annoying. Um, but I'll have to actually restart all of this. So I think I was in, in the New Planes Transform. Oh great. I'm all the way back to where it's not animated. So let's just redo that again. I'm going to... Okay, so what we've got so far is this. Pretty cool. What we're going to have to do is we're actually going to have to recreate this. So we're going to go New Layer, uh, Plane again, we're going to go 600 by 100, except this time we're going to make it a different colour. So I'm going to make this time, I'm going to make it yellow. Um, like so. And then I'm going to go down into our new plane here. I'm just going to highlight these two keyframes. I'm going to press Command C on a Mac or Control C on a PC. And then going into our new plane here, the one we just created, go into your transform, select your position and just press Command V or Control V. Then I'm going to scrub forward 10 frames by hitting the full stop key 10 times. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I'm just going to drag it so that it only starts 
at this point, and I'm going to drag it below our text as well. So at the moment, it looks like this. Pretty cool. Now I'm going to do this once again. So I'm going to create a new plane. I'm going to set the color to be pure green. Okay. I'm going to go down here to transform and position. I'm going to paste those keyframes. I'm then going to go forward to the 20th frame, like so. And I'm just going to drag it so that it starts right here. And I'm going to drag it below our text. All right, guys, so I think I'm pretty much done here. Let's have a look. So that's a pretty cool way to do some animated lower thirds text. Um, that's just one thing that I thought of right up on the spot, do a bit of a rainbow, uh, sort of an animated slime thing. Uh, but you can do whatever sort of thing you want. You could change the position. You could change the speed of this. You could change the colors. Uh, you could change the, the animation styles. All sorts of things you could do. Um, to edit this. And uh, just to close it all up, I'm going to create a new point layer. So after I've created this new point, I've just moved it over into the middle of this text here. And you'll notice that now I'm going to parent everything to this new point. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to un unlink this scale property and I'm just going to leave it until I want to close it up. At this point I'm going to create keyframing enabled uh, for the scale property and I'm just going to play it back a bit, go a bit forward in time and set the scale here to be zero. Now we'll have a look at what happens. So I think that's a bit slow, um, I'm going to move it a bit more in like this um, and as well as this I'm going to set this to be a smooth in. So that's our lower thirds so far. So that, guys, is an idea of how you can create animated text uh, in HitFilm 4 Express, animated lower thirds. Um, of course, you can do whatever type of uh, animations you want. Uh, be creative, uh, try not to just copy mine. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something from this video. I hope it helped you out uh, in all of your projects. And I will see you guys later. Bye.